Lord of the Flies is a 1954 novel by Nobel Prize-winning British author William Golding. The book focuses on a group of British boys stranded on an uninhabited island and their disastrous attempt to govern themselves. Themes include the tension between groupthink and individuality, between rational and emotional reactions, and between morality and immorality. Whilst a war is raging, a plane whose mission it is to evacuate a group of British children, is shot down, close to a deserted tropical island. Two of the boys, Ralph and Piggy, find a conch shell on the beach, and they use it as a horn to assemble all the other boys. Once they've gathered, the boys decide to choose a leader and to think of a way to be rescued. They pick Ralph to be their leader, and Ralph picks Jack, to lead the boys who will be hunting for food for the rest of the group. When Ralph, Jack and a third boy called Simon go on an expedition to explore the island, they return with Ralph being convinced that they must light a fire to signal and attract attention of any passing ships. They finally succeed in lighting a fire with some dead wood and the lenses of Piggy's glasses. But the boys are more preoccupied with playing than watching the fire and the fire gets out of control, burning down the forest. A large patch of land is burned down and one of the younger members of the group disappears and they assume he's been killed in the fire. The boys are really enjoying their taste of freedom, without adults, and spend a lot of time splashing in the water and playing games. Ralph complains that they should be keeping the fire going and build some huts to serve as shelter. The hunters are unsuccessful in their attempt to catch a wild pig, but their leader, Jack spends more and more of his energy on hunting. When a ship passes on the horizon one day, Ralph and Piggy are shocked to find that the signal fire, which was the responsibility of the hunters to maintain, has burned out. Ralph is very mad at Jack and tells him off, but he's just gotten his first kill, and all the hunters seem to be caught in a strange hysteria, dancing wildly. Piggy reprimands Jack, but he responds by hitting Piggy in the face. Ralph uses the conch shell to convene everybody together and starts speeching to the boys, to re-establish order. During this gathering, some of the boys say that they're afraid. The little boys, known as the Littlelands, have been having bad dreams from the start and more and more of the boys believe that there is a monster living on the island. When the older boys say this isn't logic, since a beast has never been spotted during the daytime, one of the little boys says that the beast could be living in the sea, a thought that terrifies the entire group. Shortly after this meeting, some military planes are battling high above the island at night. The boys are all sleeping, so they don't see the flashing lights and explosions in the clouds. A parachutist comes from the sky to the signal fire mountain, but he's dead. Sam and Eric, the twins on watch that night, are sleeping so they never see him land. When they finally wake up, they see the big silhouette from the parachute and hear the flapping noise and thinking it's the beast of the island, rush to the camp reporting that the beast attacked them. The boys gather and go on an expedition to search for the monster. Jack and Ralph, more and more in disagreement, travel up the mountain together. They see the silhouette of the parachute in the distance and think it's some sort of deformed ape. They return to tell the group what they saw. Jack says that Ralph is a coward and shouldn't be their leader anymore, but the boys refuse to vote him out as leader. Jack runs away to the beach, calling on his hunting crew to join him. Meanwhile Jack gets the remaining boys to start a new fire, this time not on the mountain, but on the beach. They agree, but before they've even made the fire, some slip away to join Jack's crew. Jack declares himself the leader of a new tribe, and as they go hunting, they hunt down a sow which they violently slaughter to mark the occasion. They decapitate the sow and put the head on a stake in the jungle as an offering to the beast. When later, Simon sees the head covered in flies, he has a terrible day dream, in which the head speaks to him. 
The voice says that he's the Lord of the Flies and Simon will never escape him, since he exists in all men. Simon passes out and when he wakes, he goes to the mountain and sees the dead parachutist. He then realizes that there is no beast, but that the beast is in every boy individually. He goes to the beach to share the realization he just had with the others. But the boys are in a form of ecstasy and revelry, even Ralph and Piggy have succumbed it seems. When they see Simon's shadow approach from the jungle, they attack him and kill him with their bare hands and teeth. The next day, Ralph and Piggy come to the realization of what happened and they get attacked by Jack's hunters and they steal Piggy's glasses in the battle. Ralph's remaining group goes to Jack's camp to try to make Jack see reason, but Jack tells his crew to tie up Sam and Eric and he fights with Ralph. In the battle that develops, a boy rolls a boulder down the mountain which kills Piggy and smashes the conch shell. Ralph is barely able to escape, as spears are thrown at him. Ralph is hunted down for a full day and night, like an animal. Jack has some boys burn part of the forest to smoke Ralph out of hiding. Ralph manages to stay in the forest, where he finds and destroys the sow's head, but eventually is forced to head to the beach, where he knows the boys will soon arrive to kill him. When he collapses there, and looks up after a while, he sees a British naval officer standing just in front of him. The officer's ship noticed the fire in the jungle and decided to investigate. The other boys reach the beach and freeze at the sight of the officer. Amazed at seeing all the bloodthirsty, savage children, he asks Ralph to explain. Ralph is conflicted in his feelings, part the feeling he's safe and part the memory of everything that happened on the island and he begins to cry. The other boys start weeping as well and the officer turns his back so they can regain their composure. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe.